Hello and welcome to another one of my updates. Uh, sorry about no update last week, but uh, been kind of busy moving. Um, and while I'm definitely not all settled in at all, um, I do have all of my stuff from one camp moved over to the next. Um, still need to assemble a lot of stuff. And in fact, I'll give you a little tour of what sort of shape it's in now. Um, but, uh, yeah, other than that, uh, definitely enjoying sleeping over here. I'm not feeling nearly as, uh, um, tense and anxiety filled as I was doing over at the other spot. Uh, um, so really glad about that. Um, also really enjoying the views over here versus where I was staying. Um, I'm actually up on top of the hill. So, like, uh, I can see 360 all the way around me. Uh, I can see the sun coming up over in the mountains in the, in the morning. And I get to watch the sunset over the mountains on the other side. Um, as well as being able to see the Salton Sea. So it kind of has a nice um, view from where I'm at. I see lots of foliage foliage, not so much uh, garbage and things of that nature, so really digging that part of it. Uh, one thing I'm not really digging about it is I had originally um, signed up to have a bunch of people help me. Uh, I had nine people that said they were going to help me, and with nine people I was going to be able to just put down the walls and load them on a trailer, drag them over, stand them up. Um, three people didn't show, so wasn't able to do that and actually only got two walls moved partially over. And I say partially over because uh, they basically were just taken off the trailer and set right next to the road. They weren't actually picked up and moved into spot at all. Um, so instead what I had to do was, uh, disassemble the walls and take them over, um, two pal panels at a time, um, on a cart, two-wheel cart and push them over. So a majority of my stuff was moved, uh, by hand without a vehicle. So, well, yeah, you know, that's kind of a nice bragging point and can say that it would, that uh, stuff's done that way. It was not really my intention. I wanted to get uh, it all moved over quickly. Um, with that, why don't we do a four questions with Kaz? We got another four questions with Kaz. We got Ian with us today. Uh, Ian, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, from Salt Lake City, going to college and whatnot, the whole college route. Um, kind of got sick of it for a minute, started driving south, and I ended up here. All right, so what actually brought you to Slab City? Um, done a little bit of internet research, just light, you mm. know, nothing too intense, and was never really satisfied with what I got, so I figured I'd come check it out, experience it. Right on. Uh, what has been your favorite thing about Slab City? Uh, the community's awesome, the people, just super nice, outgoing, everyone's super giving. I've never had a bad vibe from anyone, like, I don't know, it's just a positive place. All right. What has surprised you the most about Slap City? Um, I don't know, I thought it'd be a lot worse as far as, like, the heat and the bugs and whatnot. Um, I mean, still don't love the flies, but I mean, you, you get used <laughs> to it, you know? Yeah, definitely don't love the flies. <laughs> and, uh... Lastly, if there was one thing you could change about this place, what would it be? Um, shoot, I don't know. Sanitation's not the best, but I mean, what you gonna do? You gotta do what you gotta do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, well, that's been another four questions with Kyle. Welcome back. Um, so yeah, uh, I have decided I'm going to take up a musical instrument. Um, I have gotten a, an electric slide guitar, the type that sits on your lap, and so I'm actually going to be a musician in the near future. Um, maybe not a good one, but a musician nonetheless. Um, and 
And so, if you know of any good songs that uh, you can play the slide guitar on, or that that is featured in it, why don't you put it in uh, the comments below, and maybe I'll try to learn that. Um, and actually kind of hoping that uh, I get good enough where that I can actually go up and play with some of the folks at the range. Um, I doubt I will be putting together my own set and performing. Um, I just can't sing. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to own that, and I don't want to, I do not want to inflict that on people. I mean, because what I lack in talent, I make up for in volume. So I'm a fucking horrible singer, but I'm really loud about it. <laughs> Not a good combination whatsoever. Uh... All right, so like I said, we had to bring, here's my campsite, and we brought uh, majority of the stuff over with a two-wheel cart. Um, and you can see all the individual panels and stuff like that that have been brought in over. Uh, here is the one panel that wasn't finished that we were able to actually carry up here with the people that we had. Um, would have been nice if the other people showed up, but oh well. Um, as you can see, we dug a little hole here as well so that uh, <coughs> the house will sit flat. Um, and currently just sleeping on a bed in the middle of it. Uh, there is all of, uh, the rest of my belongings all kind of packed up and stacked there. Not being in use, it's kind of being kind of a pain in the butt to find something when I want it. Got to dig through a bunch of stuff, but oh well. Um, give you an idea where I am at. If we pan back this way. All right, I can't see through the through the viewfinder thing, but I believe this is pointing directly over by the library. If you see the towers, uh, that's actually where the girl died. So that's right about where, where she passed away. The trailer and stuff in the foreground, that's where the library is. So as you can see, I'm pretty close to it. Um, and then, if we spin back this way, about the same amount of distance is the internet cafe, which you can't see. But that's generally where that I hang out. So I'm kind of in the middle of the two places where I hang out now. Um, and I wish it wasn't such a hazy day so you could see the mountains and how beautiful it is. Anyways, another day. Well... That has been another one of my Slab City updates. Uh, if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe. If you're a subscriber and you do want to support what I'm doing, feel free to uh, um, drop some money in the PayPal or get me something off my wish list. Or if you happen to have a quad uh, core computer lying around collecting dust, you know, you can send that to me. Oh, also, I am going to have a new address. So if you want to send me stuff, you can send it to that. And it is 1420 Coachella Canal Road. Same same zip and everything. Just that, that stuff changed up. One, because I live by myself. 420, because it smokes butt. So yeah, it's kind of cool to get to make up your own addresses out here. But I'm kind of going with the same sort of scheme. Uh, Coach Canal Road, uh, the Internet Cafe is 1110. And there's a guy down the way, uh, Cannibal Ray, who uh, is 1511. So I'm in between them. That's my address. Anyways, peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. <laughs>